Okay, so we want to practice looking at blending the movement timing from the bullet and the blitz into the longer games such as the rapid and the standard play. Just the thought process, not necessarily the movement on the board, but the thought process. So I'm going to attack the pawn here. So what what moves would I make in bullet and blitz? Because we don't do too bad in bullet and blitz, even though we don't like it. And we seem to be finding okay positions in those faster games. Whereas in the longer games, we're looking at too many variables, too many options, and kind of circumventing our own position, thinking the opponent can do X, Y, and Z when they can't even do A, B, and C. So simple capture. And a simple capture again would take place. So it's not overthinking the situation. And this is not a speed thing, so when we're looking at the moves, it's looking at, well, would I have done that move in a bullet and blitz? I would have done that. I would have done that in a normal long play game as well. So we're used to this pattern. It's the transition from maybe this moment on. Yeah, so bringing the bishop out would be an automatic thing in a fast playing game. I'm just bringing the queen here, attacking the queen. Seeing what it wants to do because they don't want to get mated or in that situation. And we do want to put the fort in, so I'm going to take the queen, but I'm going to put the fort in now. Yeah? So this is the practice that I want to do in these next session games. Is Yes, I am taking the queen. I could castle. In a blitz and bullet thing, I would just take the queen. Yeah, that's the upshot of that. Could castle. Could bring the bishop to attack the bishop like we like to do. Could develop the knight. But I'm going to take the queen. I know in the longer play games, I say to myself, oh, well, I'm developing their knight for the manta. But in a quick play game, we do still end up in half decent positions. So we don't need to overthink that type of scenario. So castle, just king safety, just get that out of the way. And then we would just bring the bishop to get it activated. And then doubling the pawns in front of the king can't be a problem, so don't overthink it. And then we'd be thinking, how do we get to the king? But not at this stage because it's a quick play thinking Bullet, blitz, get your pieces out. We'd be aware of this, so it would be a quick flick if the opponent didn't. Well, we can take the pawn because the bishop takes, the bishop takes the bishop. So we've won a pawn. Don't you need to overthink that. King's now looking to make space, maybe for the rooks coming facing off our king. And in the bl blitzy bullety thing, we know that this annoying x-ray is going to occur, so we just move the king out of the way. Don't need to overthink that. Knight wants to do something, and we would just be moving this knight somehow. We would be on here doing something, attacking the bishop or something like that. Going to bring the knight out, because it's doing something functional. And he's come for the support, that's why he's come there. But we're going to take the bishop off the board, tripling the pawns. So that looks even more devastating. So I'm going to bring the rook here. See, not overthinking too much on this is... Um, look at the favourable position we've got. We've got triple pawns here. They can defend, obviously, but so we're going to attack the pawn. Kind of giving them something to think about. And we could just block these pawns down, stopping them from moving. So now we'd go into basic mode. What's the basic chess mode that you want to be going in? I'm just going to bring the rook here, potentially attacking the pawn here. Maybe not this one because it's got support of two pieces. So they're going for the trade and if we don't, then we're going to get back ranked. So we could leave it like that and just move a pawn just to give our king some space. I think that's what we'll do. Not overthinking, just looking at what is the danger. And they move the king, 
So now we can take the pawn, his rook comes down, starts attacking our pawns. Do we want that? Or shall we move the king up? I'm going to move the king up. It's making space for his rook somehow. Um, let's move the king up. Don't want to overthink, but I can feel my brain slowing down now. Alright, okay, so... Push this. Very worried putting this there. So now, the king is getting active for some reason or the other. So we could come across and attack the pawn. But his rook can come down and start being a menace. So one of these is going to be going, isn't it? If I move my king. And let's push here, supporting. Looks like they've run out. They're waiting for us to take this pawn. We're going to swing back again. Well, we're not doing that. Oh, so if we put a check on their king, he gets our rook. <laughs> we bring this rook down, attacking this pawn. But if we do that, his pawn's going to take, we take, his rook's got a check on our king. Okay, so do we not be greedy and just come here? Shall we just play normal safe chess now? If it was bullet, <laughs> if it was bullet, uh, I probably would have made a mistake and taken, no, I wouldn't know, I wouldn't have. No other checks is there. No, no, no. So I'm going to come with this looking to manage the square. And we still have the option of taking this pawn here. So we could challenge the rook. Just going to take with the pawn. I know the rook's babysitting the pawn. Now they're looking to come round the back. I'm not seeing too much of that being good. So I'm going to take the pawn here with a check on the king take another pawn see if we can get his rook off the board if his king stays there so we'll get his other rook off the board or do we even have to do we even have to good attack and then he goes back again this rook doesn't get into play um take take okay i think we're taking out with we don't have to though, but I think we might be being too arty. Let's just take the rook now. Now we have to jostle this end game very tentatively now. So he could push one, but then he comes behind. Move the king, move the king across and just push onto their pawn maybe. Yeah, let's push on to their pawn. Nothing else to promote. Rook comes around. So if we push this pawn, it's going to get one of these pawns with his rook, but I don't care. Let's go here. Don't know how long we can keep the king out of there by pushing these pawns up. Some book somewhere says that if you have two rooks in the end game type thing, so it's going to be looking for a draw if I keep going backwards and forwards. Whereas if I push, I'm getting further up the board. So let him have the pawn and push. Could have pushed that one actually, but still. Let's attack the rook. Okay, let's push this one. And push, supporting. And that should be... Let's block the king. Let's attack the rook. So that felt like a nice use of... Let's put a check on the king. Of the mix of the blitz bullet type scenarios. 
We put a check on the king, he just comes up and attacks the rook though. I don't want to waste the temple. We could go there, king could go up, but then his rook comes down, puts a check on our king, then he wins our rook. Am I overcomplicating this situation? Because if I did this and his rook takes, we still get a queen. Excellent. Okay, next game in the blending of bullet blitz into the rapid and long play thinking. Why do I always feel foul? Let's just bring the bishop here because I don't really want to get into this reverse fried liver type thing. Again, let's just make space. What do you mean left the game? <sighs> Come on. Right, next one. Silly. Okay, blending, as we've just said, the bullet and blitz into the rapid and long play thinking. So just developing the knight, supporting the pawn. And let's push the pawn through the center. Let's hit the knight. Let's get rid of the queens. Let's take. Let's take. Let's tack in the pawn. Bishop comes to defend. So that's pretty straightforward up to now. So we could take, but we are giving the power to the bishop onto this pawn. So instantly, if I saw that, I would go in. I don't think so. Small piece attacking higher piece. Where are you going, knight? Yep. Again, don't really want to give the bishop any power. But it does give power for them to bring the knight here attacking the pawn. But well, I would see that pattern fairly nifty. So I'll bring this bishop out, just trying to stop the castling. And obviously they're not happy with that. Then I bring this knight here because I'm going, oh, attack mode. Two pieces on one. I'm not overthinking any of this. This is the type of thought process I have when I'm playing the bullet and the blitz. And most of the time I find a half decent-ish type position without thinking too much. Because the overthinking is causing me to not get better positions. And it's making it worse for myself because I'm overestimating what the opponent can do. So we could just take with the idea of them probably taking with the bishop, but they're probably refusing. Let's take, we're on the pawn, we're on the bishop. And at this point, I'd be getting nervous because I'm thinking, I ain't even got castled. Am I really working my pieces together? These are single attacks, but in a quick game. Oh, so we could take, we get the rook off the board. for a momentary freeness, but I think it'll probably get taken by their rook at some point. Just take it anyway. So we've got a higher piece off the board. If we pushed onto the knight, trying to give the knight some support and we bring the knight around. Just trying to see, I don't think we're going to escape, are we? Um, Anything, nothing to do. Pawn looks nice, but let's get the knight out of the way. And let's get the knight out of the way again. Maybe just supporting the pawn. Alright, so we can slow down. The bishop is being under attack, so we could attack their rook. That would be the quick thought process. 
rook has gone here there's no elements of pushing this pawn we can go and castle we could hit their knight where we're sending the knight to i think we need to just probably go and castle okay so we've got here the opponent's still moving fairly quick they're attacking our knight the bishop is protecting the knight are they looking at doing a two on one on our knight x-ray through can we move our knight not minding doubling the pawns now or attack here just brings the pawns out this way king's pawns look fairly neat so i think probably i'd be happy messing these pawns up so let's attack the knight let's take oh i think they've given up haven't they i think they've given up yeah fair enough okay so it did look like we were putting a lot of pressure on there utilizing the new thought processes of blending bullet and blitz game's not over yet though they're still playing on so let's see what we can do um it's none of this so let's block the king out of the equation and see what we can do king's more bishop can put a check on the king but it's not doing much is it really what about is there any of this no let's put a check on just for the fun of it there's no point doing any of that i'll be giving up a mm -mm 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 -mm. Try to swing the rook up. Please don't get a magical fork on me. Let's bring the rook up like we said. Just gone to the other side, potentially getting these pawns here. Shall we just play slow potatoes and just push the pawn, stopping that? And yeah, definitely give up chess now. Put a check on the king and resigned. Nice one. Okay, um, last one for today in the little mini series that we're doing in blending the bullet and the blitz into the longer play thinking games such as the rapid and the standard. So this is rapid, obviously. And just bringing the knight out it's all based off of oh if this was a quick game obviously i would just take it off the board no questions asked yep longer play i start thinking well okay i take and then his pawns on our knight our knight's got to dance all over the place and then they're going to win this pawn so what do we do i'm actually going to do this this time because I know when I do play the fast bullet -y type things, this type of situation where the knight gets taken, I think it usually the bishop this side, I do let this pawn get taken, you know, the knight's there sat looking really good. Let's avoid that one. That's just based off my experience. And just take. Nice and steady. And uh, doesn't mean I lose those games though either. It's um it's just a matter of why give a piece up when I don't need to type thing. Let's just castle. And let's bring the bishop back. And quick move will be just the rook. Just thinking, well, let's get it moved. Now I'm thinking bad bishop, bad bishop, no bishops doing anything whatsoever. My brain will be instantly pushing here for some reason, but this knight is um, managing this pawn. So I would just do a simple king move just to say, well, I don't really know what I can do. Oh, they want this pawn. Yeah, they want this pawn. And he's got like a two on one here. So we might as well just leave that. And let's just maybe manage the knight a bit and start hitting this pawn here. 
that's what the quick brain thing's thinking, not overthinking. It doesn't over respect the actual position. Could bring the um, pawn here, or we act the bishop as a pawn. Which one do we want to do? We're so used to our bad bishop being jammed in, I don't think we're going to lose too much sleep over that. Just take the pawn and support the pawn with the pawn. And we were then thinking of just hitting here. Again, not overthinking the position or anything, just basing it off of what feels like it is going to cause the opponent a little bit of trouble. We could block the bishop in. We could take the pawn. Pawn takes. I like the idea of blocking the bishop in, but the head of the snake is just going to get taken. So in a quick blitzy type game, I would take it off the board. It's probably not the best, but you have to make a decision of sorts at some point. Going to take the knight, doubles the pawns. Going to take the pawn. Queen's attacking our pawn here, so it's going greedy munching for a pawn. So we could go here and block, but the bishop takes, pawn takes. Or we could bring our queen here with a check on the king. Bishop attacking, attack the queen. Do we bring the pawn in? So they're playing real quick now, like it's a bullet and blitzy type stuff. So we're going to attack a piece that really has got no protection at the minute. I'm going to take it anyway. And we're on the bishop. So we could take the bishop off the board. There's no other magic, I don't think. And takes, maybe the rook takes. They're hunting this pawn. Is there anything else? Could attack their rook. Knight takes, knight takes. I, oh, <laughs> um, was it winning? Um, oh, we're plus two, but um, it's just a quick look. Favorable. Oh, yeah. Okay, fair enough. So that was the last game in the um, blending the blitz and the bullet blitz type psychology in with the rapid play and the longer play games. Um, it does feel like it helps me. Yeah, me personally, I'm not saying it'll work for anybody else, but as you've seen from our recent experience of the over the board games, that was the key thing that was highlighted from those games and the fact of respecting the opponent's position way too much, where you where I'm overthinking the position, thinking that they can do loads of moves and responses, etc. When really a simple direct move to remove pieces from the board strategically would work quite nicely. And the case in point, these three games have just kind of highlighted that aspect.